Before we get started with this video, I just wanted to keep you guys in mind what you're about to see once you see my face. Will this affect you on any way, anyhow, on how you feel about this channel and me? Because no matter what, we're all judgmental people to no matter what extent, whether we're judgmental to a person, thing, whatever we see at glance, we're judgmental, whether it's good or bad. So let the video begin. What's good, guys? Shiraka Six is talking to you right now. Hey, 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 hey! What? You thought I'd be the Pikachu right there? Nah, nah, nah. This is me. This is me. Shiraka Six TV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. What's good, guys? Shiraka Six is talking to you right now. Today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. It is 2017, and you get to see me, the real deal. After so many years, it's finally time for face cam. Well, not really. This is a phone recording. Is this what you expect, guys? Is this what you expect? It's 2017 right now. Can we start off real good in 2017? Before we get started with this Q&A session, I want to do an introduction video like so you guys get to know the real me, who I am. Not I'm not like give all the details, but I'm just going to give you like a quick summary of what ha what's been going on from the past Wait, what year is going to be? It's 2017. The past 8 years of my YouTube career, like what I've been doing my RL life. RL life besides YouTube so I'm not gonna give out my real name if you have me on my other 3ds capture card not 3ds capture card my other 3ds mainly three guys that have me three guys that have me if I remember to edit this bam 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 these three guys have me on my other 3ds if you if you have me on Pokemon X version then you then my real name's right there name Shirako Shira, Shiraka ZX TV, either way, either form, I'll take it. And then I started YouTube back in 2009. 2009, in another account. An old, old, old account that's deleted. That be due to copyright reasons. It was the first one, the first one was Shiraka745. I don't know why I'm doing the fingers and all that. So, anyways, Shiraka745 was the first account ever made. That was the I, I, the original Shiraku right there. Then there was some other numbers, Shiraku 7451, Shiraku 74514, then all other Shiraku's accounts I made. I'm a, if I remember to add this out, I do still have the video on my channel, but it's just covering off all the previous Shiraku's that I am unable to gain access because I forgot the email address and the password. So I got nothing to do about it. It started out, my very first video was Mega Man Star Force, a Sonya Sky, so Sonya Strum, Misora Hibiki, her song compilation video. That's what it was. That was the very first video. And then soon on after, blah blah, YouTube, Mega Man Star Force, Mega Man Battle Network, gameplay videos, AMVs here and there during my free time. But above all else, above all else, during my freshman year in high school, freshman, yeah, it was freshman year. Freshman year in high school, I had a lot of free time. After school, when I get home from school, I just go on YouTube, do whatever, watch videos, and then I make some videos as well. Okay, so freshman year in high school, from before freshman year up to freshman year, my focus was towards YouTube. I had no job. I was not into sports. Uh, every time I get home from school, I just go straight to YouTube, just like post random AMVs of Mega Man Star Force, Mega Man Star Force gameplays, Mega Man Battle Network gameplays, etc. And then YouTube copyright hit me, so it's just. It's gone. So, yeah. Then, sophomore year, there was another Shiraco channel. I forgot what was it called. I forgot what was it called. I think it was mainly Shiraco TV. Yeah, it was. It was. It was Shiraco TV. Dang, that was a long time ago. I don't remember that name until now. It's Shiraco TV. It was definitely Shiraco TV, I think. And then that was deleted due to copyright reasons, but it was going strong. That was the thing. It was going strong. And it sounded like my parents are back, so be right back until I edit this out. Okay, where did I left off? Where did I left off? So, Shiraco, Shiraco TV. 
2010 sophomore year it was good then deleted copyright reasons and then at the same time i created shiraku z tv that would have been my new main channel but then i lost the password email and password to that so yeah during that time during my sophomore year in high school while youtube at the same time i actually joined sports the first time the first sport i ever joined was jv football reason i have no idea why i just did it because my friends did it so that was the reason i joined jv football i came in late it was beginning of the school year i came in late never got my gear at all no pads no helmet nothing nothing after two months into the season, two months, August, September, practice, 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 but no gear at all. He never gave me my gear. So, yeah, I quit because of that. At the same time, I had a girlfriend as well. Had, had, had. I had a girlfriend. After three months, broke up, yada yada, heart broke. That's, it inspired the, that, that heart broke experience inspired me to create Mega Man Star Force AMV Vampire. If you remember that one, but is now blocked mostly by the entire world except South Korea because YouTube copyright is just dumb now. YouTube copyright is now dumb nowadays. A Japanese song is blocked by the entire world, it, even its own creation, Japan, except it's blocked, it's not blocked by South Korea, which is dumb. Junior year in my high school, junior year at the beginning, Start coming back with Mega Man Star Force gameplays first, and then New Year came by, and then bust out Mega Man Star Force AMV Braving, and then as the years go by, follow, 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 and then spring semester came in. I did track, I did track, track and field. I like, I did it only because I thought my friend was doing it, but he never came. But by the time he came back, he wasn't able to do it. My senior year in high school. I I I was I decided to join back football because when I saw that game schedule I'm like you know what I'll do it I'll do it because we're going somewhere that's not completely up north but we're going down south and it's by the beach so it was good it was good but I did uh, if I remember to edit this I'll make sure to put some pictures of it maybe a video as well of me in it. But yeah, some pictures of me in the football, in football, I really, if you see, the, if I remember to put those pictures, if you see a big old helmet, yeah, that's basically me because I had a, if you just look at my body, if literally I just, people say I have a big head, so yeah. Senior year in high school, last chance to do everything you want to do, make the best memories as you can. That's the, that's the main goal for you seniors in high school is make every memory possible that's a good message right there if anyone that's younger is watching this track senior year basically it was a good year but then i had some ups and downs make sure i try to put some pictures as well if i have any of my senior year track but yeah i was kind of devastated this during during the season because of a girl but that's a whole nother story for another day and then after my senior year ended, I attend to a community college because I came in really late and I missed the deadline to sign up for colleges. Community colleges are more cheaper when you go to a college. They're more cheaper and it helped to my for my opinion, it helps you think what you want to do with your life. It helps you think because once you're out of high school, you're practically in the real world now. You're practically in the real world trying to think what to do next get a job go to school go to college what do you want to do for the rest of your life get married have kids how do you want to support them blah 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 etc 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 and that's why community college it's just it helped me to figure out what I want to do I'm still hesitant of what I really want to do but literally the time the past four years has been good enough because at that time, I got a job. I still did track. I still did track. And if I remember to put the pictures, I will. 2013 slash 2014, freshman year of track. Good, okay. And then next year, 2015, I registered it. Technically, registered it. Registered means players 
that are unable to play the sport, like compete, compete. So you're not on the field, you're just sideline. You're just the sideline guy. And you don't do anything at all. You just go to the practice, but do not compete for the games. And then the following year, putting up the 2016 season picks and the video, then if I remember to do that. <laughs> time it was a fun season I made memories like I said memories make the best of them as you can while you still can I kept that IRL story real long real long but yeah what else do I have to say before we move on to the Q&A uh, like uh, if you have me on Twitter I even though I did not reveal my face I did not reveal my face on YouTube I have posted at least five pictures on Twitter of my real self. The first one was when I was at TwitchCon, when I took a picture with Rad Puppy, the Twitch girl streamer that plays League. I'll put it right there. And then if you remember the TwitchCon vid, TwitchCon 2015 at San Francisco, I posted a vlog there, which I'm sorry for those that watched it and it was all shaky, but yeah, it was. It was that same picture that I took with her and when I was at TwitchCon that time. And then the other time was 2016 Pokemon World Championships. Pokemon World Championships at San Francisco. That's where Worlds at. That's where Worlds was at. And then at the same time the PokeTubers such as Shofu, Joey, PokeAim, etc, etc, etc. I met them. Oh yeah, followed by my height, my height. There's another thing. One person that I said my height, uh, if you want to know how tall I am, is I'm 5'3". I'll show a, a picture of me and show food. The man himself, the man himself. I'm that short. Really, I'm really that short. So yeah. So yeah, that thing, that cover up this introduction video, I think I really cover up. So let's move on to the Q&A. Trevor813 says, I have no questions for you, honestly. Well, make sure to hit that like button, comment, comments, if you're new, Baylor, please subscribe, the Shrek is XC, and I'm signing out. Okay, first one up, Brianna Lawson says, do you have pets? If so, how many and what kind? If not, do you want some? What kind? If not, why? Okay, that is a random one, but that's a normal random one. But yeah, I do have pets. I have four fishes. I can't say what kind they are because I don't know much. Then two dogs and a turtle. Shadow Striker, the man, my my partner in crime says, "How did you come across my channel?" I think it's the other way around. That's what I think. You first subscribed to me, and then there were some few comments that you said. And then we start interacting with each other, and then I think that's how we first met. I don't know when exactly. I think it was back in 2010 or so. I don't remember, but that's what how I remember. I don't know how you remember, but that's how I remember. Somewhere on the line, we just started talking. You know, you know that we both like Mega Man. Number one, I noticed that history repeating remix used in the video. But I have not heard of the remix before. Can you tell me the name of the remix or where can I find it? I have no idea what's that about. Literally, I'm not up to date with the latest music. Whatever I hear in the radio, the latest hip hop rap, it's just garbage now. It's completely garbage. I thought 2010 era was just garbage. But now, today's music is just going downhill. It's just not. I, so yeah, I have no idea what you meant by that. Gaming Universe says, Gaming Universe says, Will you play Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 once the Road to Boruto Bundle comes out in February? Um, no, not really. I checked. It's basically Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 that came out 
what last year to last year that just basically covered the freaking battle with Kaguya and all that and with just the added bonus of the Boruto start line isn't that basically the entire movie right there Caitlin Kidd says Caitlin Kidd says why did you decide to start YouTube and Twitch YouTube to be honest I had no idea why I started YouTube like I said in the introduction video of this video I started back in 2009 I don't know what got me into it all I remember is that I started uploading videos that's all I remember and then before copyright was a big hassle which it still is but it was more terrible back then um, before copyright was a hassle when I started YouTube was basically uploading Mega Man Star Force episodes the actual anime episodes onto YouTube it was good for a good running and then copyright strike 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 delete twitch and like i always say in the live stream it's for people that have free time twitch i had the account just to watch videos follow people etc and then i just stream just whatever videos there was no specific content what i'm doing it's just free time free time plus grinding if there's a certain game that I need to grind to, then I'll just stream on Twitch. The past, since 2016, the thing that I was grinding was towards to... The only thing I was grinding was... Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Was basically this game I was grinding, and then... These are... These were the... Not this one. Basically, these were the only two games that I was grinding during that time. Shiny Hunting was just, just, just chill. That's all there is. But yeah, these were the only two games I was grinding because they had a level system. So yeah. Okay, Strider Zentos MK3 says, "How old are you?" I am 22. Question: Do you like turtles? I mean, I don't hate them, but I like them, but I don't hate them. And I own a turtle, so yeah. When you make A and B again, I mean, I'm just gonna leave that, leave this, this edited picture here, whatever. But yeah, it's not gonna be frequent. Like people demand it, like on the snap. But it's just like literally, I said it before in my previous videos. It takes some inspiration and all that. I'm just burnt out ideas, literally. I'm just burnt out. Once I finish making A and B. I'm the brain is just brain dead. I can't think of any other ideas how to create this next one until the next song gives me inspiration and all that. Because in order to make an anime music video, besides just simple cut, edit, paste, and add music to it, it's just basically you got to know which what is the right song to use. You gotta know which one to use, what the lyrics mean, what the each word by word, do they match this one scene, etc. So yeah. But right now, I'm just brain dead on the next idea. Are you going to make AMVs on something other than Mega Man Star Force? You know, expand your editing skills across other franchises. I've been meaning to to do that, but literally, I'm keeping Mega Man Star Force because that's the only thing I know I can trust on copyright issues. But but like, say mainstream anime like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, etc., etc. Mainstream though, mainstream, mainstream. Like the most popular animes, they get copyrighted because whatever is the most recent. So like, say like the most recent episode of Naruto, say, what was it, 480 something? 480 something, I can't believe they're keeping going after the freaking series. But yeah, 480 something, the most recent one, give it a week. It may not be a week, it may not be a month, it may not be a year, but bam, copyright is gonna strike down if you don't know how to edit properly. But yeah, it's just, it depends what anime I'm, I'm gonna use. Like, I've been meaning to do a Christmas anime music video for a long time now, but I never get the time to do it. Because the week, like I said, I'll be bringing them after completing one AMV. Birthday, December 10th. December 10th, after completing that AMV, I'm practically brain dead. Followed by finals week, finals week. That's the week after that. You have to stay focused on your studies and do get that passing grade. So there's probably there's no rough time for me to do it because you gotta study. And by the time you finish that, you got like these four these remaining days left towards the AMV, and I work. 
And if you ever work in the holiday season, in that week, Christmas week, New Year's week, Thanksgiving week, then you, if you know what it's like to work on that day, it's heck. What was your inspiration for starting your channel? Uh, like I said, I started in 2009, but there was, I had no inspiration at all. It was just a, it was just for fun. It's hobby. It was, a, it still is a hobby. It's for fun, for free time, and whatever it gets up, gets uploaded. So yeah, it's just based on free time. There was no one back then that inspired me to up, to upload the content. It was just after uploading Mega Man Star Force, the anime episodes. After seeing the subscribers, the views, I'm like, okay, this is what I guess you could say. The views and subscriber base is what got me inspired. I guess you can say that. What got you into AMVs, anime music videos? <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember. I really don't remember what got me into it. I don't really remember. Like, I remember I made them, but I don't remember they existed. I don't remember. I, I really don't remember what got me into anime music videos. My first anime music video was Mega Man Star Force AMV Be Somewhere by Buzzy. I really don't remember much how I got into it. It's just, I think someone in the comments in the Mega Man Star Force anime episodes that I uploaded, I think they wanted me to create an anime music video of that with that song. Back in the day, in 2009, I just don't remember why I did it. I think I just did it. I don't even know what an AMV was to be exactly like I hardly don't remember at all it's it's been a clean eight years I think clean eight years uh, let's see nine plus eight yeah 17 2017 2009 yeah okay but yeah I clearly don't remember what got me into it and then after that I just throw in some random I just throw in some random songs to it because I like them or I think it would be great with it. That was back in 2009 when I didn't care at all. And I didn't think copyright would get me. But it did. But yeah. But nowadays. I just have to use the right songs now. I can't just throw in some BS song. No matter what. Have you moved houses before? If so, where are you from? So I live in Cali. I'm not going to mention where exactly I live. Unless you did something real creepy. But, but yeah. I live in Cali. California. West Coast. United States. And the most I... They, I remember my parents telling me that we moved houses before, but that was when I was a baby. Ba when you were a baby, you can't remember for nothing. But then for basically all my up to f age 5 to age 15, I lived in the apartments. Elementary, middle school, same apartments. And then when the time I got in high school, we moved to from apartment to a house. And that's where I spent my high school and community college at. Because of that said house. How and when did you get into Mega Man? Okay, that was back to when I was a kid. Back to age 5. Because when you're a kid, you basically have to spend your time with your parents no matter what. They can't just leave you all alone or or unless it's not just me. Which, yeah, that, that's just torture right there. Okay. I remember when I was 5. Every Sunday, my mom always takes me with her to the laundry place to always do the laundry. And then, if you remember those freaking TVs, they just hang up there when you're bored. I remember I always requested that I want to watch cartoons and Mega Man, the cartoon, the 90s, 90s Mega Man cartoon was up and I always watched it. That was like the first thing that got me into Mega Man. That was the thing. And then as I grew up, then I got into Battle Network and then Star Force and then it became to X, then to Zero, then to ZX, ZX Advern. Legends was meh, but... It's still part of Mega Man series, and that's how I got into Mega Man. I remember that I first found this channel through some good old AMVs. Do you still make those? If so, do you plan to keep on making AMVs? <laughs> yes, I do. It's in the it's in my channel. The channel is Let's Plays and AMVs, anime music videos. Do you still make those? Yes, I do. If you see the most recent one, it's there. And if you look at the 130 mark of this video, of this video, any video, there's an AMV right there that's waiting for you to check it out. Gaming Universe says, What has been the most challenging thing about doing YouTube or what has been the easiest? The most challenging to do for me 
is to keep my life in life in check because like I said in the introduction school sports YouTube work go to school in the morning go to go to freaking practice in the afternoon slash game go to work in the evening and towards late night if you have homework or not you have Record a video, edit the video, upload the next day. That's been the most challenging thing. Thank God I do not have a girlfriend or else everything will be falling apart. If you can spend the day with any celebrity you want, who would you who would you spend it with? I really got no one in mind. When I was younger, I, I had a crush on Vanessa Hudgens. Remember her? The girl from High School Musical? Then I'll go with her. I'll go with her. How long have you been on YouTube anyways? Already answered that question again since 2009. Eight straight years. Well, maybe seven and a half because I started in summer of 2009. Will you be playing all Phoenix Wright games? If not, that's fine. Uh, I will be playing all of it, Phoenix Wright games. Uh, to guarantee, Phoenix Wright number two will be going up this month, maybe this week, but I have to get into it first. But yeah, that's a guarantee that I'll be doing all the games. Hopefully I can get it all done by the end of the year, at the end of 2017. But we'll see what new games 2017 will be coming in. So what is your favorite games besides Mega Man, Pokemon, or Ace Attorney? Besides those three? Yu-Gi-Oh! That's all I can think of right now. Where do you plan on going with your channel in the future? With the way YouTube's current algorithm is, you're probably not going to get much headway with your current format. And that is why I'm doing this re reveal face cam type of thing anyways cuz really like where I'm seeing myself I'm not making progress as well but like I said I'm gonna keep my goal if I do not hit 100k subscribers I'm gonna say it right now it's the year 2017 if I do not hit 100k subscribers by the time I become 25 years old then that's pr practically it because basically some people do do hit big even above 25 but it depends how how where your growth is going at where is your growth that's the thing where is your growth how you're expanding your horizon if you can say that how you're expanding your channel how how am i changing how am i making it better better for worse but yeah but yeah, if I do not hit 100k by, by, before I became the age of 25, by the time then I should be graduating from college. Then that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Maybe I'm done. I'm not sure because I told myself like this year, 2016, that if I hit 25 and still not hit 100k, if I don't hit, see that tiny plaque, then I'm done. I'm basically done. Gotta have a career. Gotta have a career, focus on that career, move on with your life. It was fun while it lasted, but I can't keep on going with this. So yeah, but like I said, until I hit 25, we gotta see where we can go. I'm 22 years old right now. I think I got my mouth wrong. Before I hit 24 and then graduate. But above all else, 25. I give until the age of 25 because I'm going for a teacher's Eight, becoming a teacher and you need one year of, of t teachers credentials so yeah what got you into gaming on YouTube what got me into gaming on YouTube I just like uh, I think I said it before and I'll say it again that I just like posting videos of that said gameplay and I want to reminisce that feeling of my own videos what I've done my own experience you know it's just I want to back then all I care about was just like record it upload it my own gameplay no commentary at all but now people just rely on commentary nowadays really and you just hardly any see any people without no commentary at all which ain't gonna get you nowhere because literally if you want to get that if you want to get that video out there you're just gonna have that personality that interaction that great content out there to get you up to up what is your dream job or career uh really there is no I really don't know exactly. I'm still hesitant, as I said. Before, like, when Mega Man Star first came out, like, what really got me all hyped up was space and all that. Astronomy. It, it really got me hyped up. By the time I got into high school, by the time I did sports, my brain? I was smart. 
But then when I get when sports came into my life, I went down bad. So yeah, it's just the dream died right there. And then next thing is just become a PE teacher because that's the most easiest thing you can do. Easiest thing you can do. Literally. My major is kinesiology. If you don't know what kinesiology, it's basically fitness stuff. That's all you need to know. It's just exercise and sport fitness. Some you can get it for physical therapy, a therapist, whatever. But that, that, that includes becoming a doctor right there. So you gotta go through more years of school. Okay, final stretch right now. Okay, back again to Brianna. What are your top five favorite video games? Why are they your favorite? This just has to be more into thought right here. But if if there's a particular series, but guarantee number one is Mega Man game. Is any Mega Man type of game, mainly Battle Network and Star Force. Number two is Pokemon. Childhood right there. Childhood. So much grinding I did back in the day. Number three, even though it's dead, it's dead. Yu-Gi-Oh is still my number three right there. That's been like the main contents of this channel in that in the day, but now we got some variety in it. Number four, I would just say Smash Super Smash Bros because really that's just my kid free time right there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna throw in Phoenix Ryan into that category, even though with the dialogues and all that. I'm just gonna throw it in because now I think about it, all my previous games were just involved anything Mario related, Yu Gi Oh related, Pokemon related, Mega Man related, and Legend of Zelda. But I'm just gonna take Phoenix right into it as number five. Best Mega Man game, any series. Star Force, hands down, no matter what. No matter what. Star Force, Mega Man Star Force, hands down. Then Battle Network, and then everything else can fall in line. Apparently I just said is number three question as number two. So how long have you been on YouTube? Actually, how long have you been active on YouTube? Because sadly I haven't seen much progress on the subscriber count. Perhaps try spicing up your content a little bit. Sword Online is more or less a dead cow that keeps getting milked at this point. I'm sure if you add variety to your content, subscribers will come eventually since diversity is a massive contributor to channel success. I mean this is a variety channel. It's a variety. That's why LPs, that's why I do not focus on one single thing. But yeah, above all else, since with YouTube nowadays, with their sub boxes and all that, if you notice, like, you don't see a specific video uploaded, like, this guy uploads this video as of today, as of right now, you don't see it in your sub box, then it's all YouTube's fault right there. But yeah, if you check my channel with those 1500 plus videos every day, every single video, every single day, there's a video uploaded every day. If it's possible. If work does not conclude collide that's the one i'm trying to say collide with my schedule what are your thoughts on the new attack on titan season 2 promo i have not seen the promo yet i only saw images of it the only my only expectation for attack of titan is that do, they do not add filler to it because basically what i saw in that first season like at least there were just too many flashbacks there were just too many like unwanted scenes that I do not want to see like basically only yeah just basically the flashback is just too much because the beginning introduction like a good minute recap on one of something and then it's just it leads on to a flashback no matter what or something offline or whatever that ain't gonna make no progress at all that's I'm just hoping for that that's the only thing I, I hope for do you think you'll ever ha have an extremely popular channel and will keep YouTube career regardless? If if I became popular before I hit age 25, then maybe, but but we'll see what the future holds. MK3 says, can't think of a word, but I won't judge you anything. That's all he got, really, that's all he got. If you watch anime, what is your favorite? Mm, I would have to go with the Yu-Gi-Oh series like like after every season from Yu-Gi-Oh to GX to 5Ds to Ze Zexel to Arc 5 and now they're gonna have another season which is kind of sad I really like Arc 5 really much but above all else Yu-Gi-Oh series has been consistent there's not much fillers like Naruto had like t like basically 
2016 was full of fillers no matter what. No, Naruto in 2016 was full of fillers. Dragon Ball, and they're just trying to make money out of it. Uh, One Piece, oh god, don't get me started with the One Piece. I like it, but it's just... When will Luffy become King of Pirates? When will he? When will that day happen? Because they started back in the 90s. That's all I want to know. Nuggers says, what is your favorite Kamen Rider series? I didn't start watching Kamen Rider until Forza comes out. Forza? Because it's all it was about a high school guy. That's all there was. High school. And then I just kept on watching Wizard, then Guy. I didn't watch much of Drive, but then when they introduced Kamen Rider Chaser, then that's where I got into it. And then Ghost was meh, but it has a good storyline. And then I'm watching X8. But above all else, my favorite Kamen Rider series? Gaim. No matter what, Gaim. It had everything from that can, that can, what? There was a picture I remember seeing it on Instagram, I think. It was on Instagram. It had to do, it has everything that it needs from child to teen to adult to whatever. I don't know what the fourth one was, but it had everything. That really, it hits you right there if you watched it. If, you, if you've seen that series, then you should know it. Restless Stabilize says, why you no collab anymore? I had fun being a part of those. Hey man. Hey man, you and me, six on six, single battle, sun and moon. I'll see you January something. But above all else, Restless, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's possible because Maybe we can do a versus. Like, they busted out the Citra 3DS emulator. I don't know when they brought it, but apparently it works. So maybe we can do a versus, but... But, you've been busy, so... I don't know about you, though. You've been busy as well. We're in college, so... We'll have to see what's up. Lastly, what's your favorite game you ever played on YouTube or in your own time? That I... Favorite game ever played on YouTube or in free time? On YouTube, Mega Man Battle Number 6 Cybees Falzar because the voice act series, because I never played the Falzar version. And then Star Force on my own time back in my childhood days before I started uploading those content. Last one, Shading Namikaze says, What got you into Mega Man? It's basically what Shadow Striker says. What got, got what what got me into Mega Man was basically when I was a kid. I'll say it again, kid. Mom took me to a laundry place, watched TV, the cartoon series, and then that's just fall into place. But yeah, so yeah, that's basically it today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how long it is after the edits here and there, but hope. But thank you for this successful Q and A session. There ain't gonna be no future. Well, maybe, maybe channel updates, I can do face cam, but I got two more videos I need to do for face cam, and it'll be just gonna be follow, it's gonna be a follow up to other s important stuff. But above all else, make sure that like button comes performance. If you're a new video, like a C-Scrimmon, this is Shrekka's XTV, and I'm signing out.